Hey beauties, it's Riri and today's video is my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of April. We are diving right in. I just received my paid for Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of April. And if you are unfamiliar with the Ipsy Glam Bag, the OG, this is a $13 monthly subscription where we receive five travel try me size items and a cosmetics bag. Um, I always say that I really think that Ipsy is the best bang for your buck. I really enjoy getting the minis. I know some people don't, of course, that's personal preference. Um, but I feel like it's a great way that if you are a newbie to makeup, you're trying to build up a collection, it's a great value. Or if you're trying to just test out new brands and new products, it's better to spend $13 for this and find a favorite then go pay full price as opposed to spending $30 or $40 on a product and you hate it. Um, plus, I travel to go see my son regularly. So for me, I go through minis and sample products very, very quickly. So our theme this month is Anything is Possible. Um, and it says a new season is bound to welcome some amazing changes for us and for you. While we're bringing the best of Ipsy and BoxyCharm together under Ipsy, it still should have been Ipsy Charm, I'm just saying. Um, to create the ultimate beauty membership, get ready to embrace all the new possibilities this spring. Making more thoughtful, sustainable beauty choices, it's Earth Month after all, experimenting with the latest makeup trends, trends and expressing every gorgeous side of you. And usually it would tell us what we have in here, but um, it doesn't, so they could not waste product and not send this. Um, our bag this month is a cool canvas bag with some blue, I think, poppies, perhaps. Um, not my favorite bag, but I don't typically keep them, so I don't dock them any points for that. All right, first up, I feel bubble wrap, and that's usually a good sign. This is a... Pink Lips Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. We did get a lip, we did get a lipstick from them, I think, last month. It's not something I typically use, but I think it's nice to have in the bag, and I think a lot of people probably would have liked that in their bag. And then I'm honestly feeling a bunch of squeezy tubes. <laughs> Next up is the Ren Skincare Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. I'm not somebody that prefers a like jelly type cleanser. It's a weird sensory thing for me, but I really do like Ren Skincare, so I ain't mad at it. Next up is, ooh, the Living Proof Curl Elongator for Cools um, Conditioning Styler. I'm super excited to have that for sure. Next up is the, the New Co, the Barrier Culture Moisturizer, Pre, Pro, and Post Biotic. And then the last thing in here is, of course, it's a liner because it's it's ipsy um this is the cab beauty lip liner i think and i think the shade is kim ariana and brielle i'm assuming that is the shade name it looks like a really beautiful shade one that i would use but i have a ton of liners um and my preference with my bag is that i am very comfortable with makeup but i want a skincare heavy bag so i do feel like they delivered that i got a three to two ratio not my all-time favorite bag, not gonna lie, but I still feel like I got my money's worth, of course. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep much of this particular variation of the bag, but I ain't mad at it. Um, not my favorite month, but I am happy that they are starting to progress, and hopefully the merger will mean great things for us as the consumer. Um, let me know what you guys thought. Comment down below. Let's have that conversation. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties!